this is a lady who has come to us and we have operated a double surgery together that is a large segmental resection we removed approximately 16 centimeters of the large intestine she had a previous ileostomy so we did the whole surgery with the ileostomy and at the end of the surgery ileostomy closure was also done simultaneously right so this involves extensive use of staplers inside the body the most important thing which we should remember is something called as paralytic ileus now in these types of situations there are three important things which we should know as doctors first how long can we keep the patient nbm right so we normally like to start the patient on orals approximately within 8 to 12 hours of surgery if the patient is complaining of any form of abdominal distension okay the first thing which you should end up suspecting is paralytic ileus in paralytic ileus the first thing which you should be doing is keeping the patient nbm again put a rice tube whatever is secreted and collected in the stomach let it come out second do electrolytes the biggest thing which affects paralytic ileus and especially when we have done such a big resection laparoscopically is hypokalemia that means reduced level of potassium in the blood how do we correct the potassium either by giving it intravenously or by giving it orally but we will prefer to give it intravenously always involve a physician we have an in house physician fortunately because we handle so many tough cases and the physician will come and give an appropriate potassium correction to the patient this potassium correction is not going to happen very fast it will take its own sweet time it takes approximately 48 hours patient has to be patient relatives have to be patient because it can take some time all right in this situation some of these patients will also require correction for magnesium some of these patients may also require some sort of calcium and all of this electrolytes have to be monitored correctly third you may also have to do values of serum albumin and an albumin infusion may also be required after such an extensive resection because there can be some amount of albumin loss following such a severe bowel resection for endometriosis fortunately after the patient passes flatus passes stools before we send such patients home it is our protocol that we will always do a contrast ct scan we give an oral contrast the patient drinks the oral contrast after a little while 2 to 3 hours the patient goes for a ct scan the report turns out that everything is absolutely fine from inside and only and only then we will discharge the patient these are patients which are very very difficult to operate majority of the people have operated on them at least two times before they are sent to referral units like us and god is very kind that out of 100 98 to 99% of these patients are going to go home without any set of complications but remember when you are a referral unit for endometriosis and when you are doing such a huge number of endometriosis surgeries some complications some post operative challenges are bound to happen and as an endometriosis surgeon it is very important that you are very good in the post operative management for the patients for a complete pain free and a successful and a permanent recovery to all these patients